Hello ladies and gentlemen, Scare204 here, and welcome back to another Minecraft Modern Warfare Vehicle tutorial. In this tutorial, we'll be going ahead and continuing on our part 4 of the Boeing VC-25A, also known as Air Force One uh, Presidential Transport Aircraft tutorial. Um, we've already went ahead and did the first three parts, which cover the landed and uh, in-flight versions of this aircraft, and this part here is going to solely focus on the interior, hopefully wrapping up the tutorial. Now, if you have not watched the previous parts, make sure to go ahead and go back to watching those parts, because as I just said, this part here will strictly cover the interior, and uh, all the exterior was built in other videos, so make sure to check those out, and I will most likely have them linked in the video description. Um, anyways, uh, I've already done a full kind of walkthrough of the um, interior, so if you do want to see the full walkthrough of the interior again, you can uh, go ahead and find, look at the link that's probably going to be in my pinned comment and also in the description as well, which is a full walkthrough of the interior. Since the interior is pretty detailed, um, I went ahead and just did a separate video for it because it would have taken up the first like 11 minutes of this video almost to just show you guys the interior. Um, I've never done a interior tutorial for any type of aircraft or really anything before, so we're going to be kind of playing this tutorial as kind of a new way. I'm going to kind of be learning and trying new things as I go through the tutorial to hopefully, uh, you know, <laughs> make it as clear as possible on how to build it. Um, so do bear with me. It may be a little confusing here and there, and I'm going to obviously do my best to make it as clear as possible. But again, this is my first time ever doing an interior for um, any type of aircraft or anything like that. Um, so it should be interesting, uh, but I think it will be pretty cool. And a lot of you guys have been really anticipating this tutorial, and I'm really happy to hear that. Um, and hopefully you all do enjoy it. Um, anyways, kind of to go ahead and dive straight into it. As you can see here, I have a uh, basically a cut away. I cut the top of the aircraft off just to kind of make it easier to show what we're visually doing. Obviously, you guys will be on the inside building this, but uh, everything should still be about the same. I also have a cutaway here that shows you guys the aerial view of it. So this is what uh, we should have here pretty much for this uh first uh, floor here. So let's go ahead and get started. Now the first thing we're going to be needing to do is to go ahead and obviously make our floor. Now the floor of the aircraft basically for the first half is going to be using the stripped birch wood. We're going to be going ahead and going in and an easy way to kind of tell where we need to start building is we have this white line that goes all the way around the aircraft so it kind of splits us from the stone and in, in the front here the nose the blue. Uh, we have this white line that goes all the way around and that right there is the level that our floor is going to be built on. So the easiest way for us to go ahead and go to is just to go ahead and take our birchwood plank or birchwood logs and just go ahead and start filling this whole space in. Now we're going to be going ahead and filling this in quite a bit and it is going to basically be the whole front here of the aircraft will be filled in with this material. And we're just going to continue to fill this in. Now this whole area will be filled in except we're going to be going ahead and going back to this spot and we're going to have a stop where we a point where we stop and we instead are using cyan uh, concrete that will be for the floor. Now this spot that we're going to be stopping at if we go ahead and go to our third door so we have one two three it's our third door here we're going to go ahead and count one two three four five and after our fifth window we're going to go ahead and go down to our quartz line that's right here and we're going to go ahead and place down a row of cyan concrete going across. So again, we're going to have this row of cyan concrete that's going across here, and this is going to basically show us the point that we need to stop our birch wood. So I'm going to go ahead and fill in the rest of this birch wood, uh, stripped birch wood logs all the way in this space here, basically closing off this whole floor area, and I'm going to come back to you guys once I have that all complete. Alright guys, so as you can see, I went ahead and filled in the entire floor here with our birch wood planks going all the way across here. And um, we do have the floor changes in some of these rooms here and there, like the uh, like the little onboard uh, hospital, the kitchen, um, or sorry, the kitchen hospital, and also the bathroom here. So we will be adding the different floor colors when we actually get to those, because it's a little bit easier to add those on when we actually get to those rooms. Um, anyways, once we get to this point here, we're going to be going ahead and taking our... Um, cyan concrete and we're going to go ahead and continue on. Now again, this cyan concrete, if we go ahead and go to our third door along the line here, so one, two, three, we count one, two, three, four, and five windows back in the space right here in between the fifth and sixth window, go down, line it up with the quartz, we're going to have our row of cyan concrete going across. Now we're going to go ahead and place down a second row of cyan concrete going across, a third row, a fourth row, and a fifth row, a sixth row, 
and a seventh row, like this going all the way across. And then from this point here, we're going to go ahead and very simply taking light gray concrete. And we're going to take light gray concrete and take it all the way to the back of the aircraft. And just to make it easy on you guys, uh, we don't really need to go all the way back. But just for the sake of the tutorial, we'll just go ahead and fill in the space all the way to the back. So I'm going to go ahead and do that real quick. And I'll see you guys when I have that complete. And as you guys can see, I went ahead and filled this whole space in all the way to the back here. And you can kind of see that I just brought it in equal here with all of our... Uh, blocks and all that stuff for quartz blocks and everything didn't break anything just kind of brought it all the way to that point there And that's all we really need to do for this portion here to the back So we have this back section here filled for light gray. We have our little cyan uh, Concrete section here, and then we have the majority front half of the aircraft being all of our stripped birch wood uh, Basically planks or uh, wood blocks anyways from this point here the best thing for us to do now is to go ahead and do the outer walls now around the entire aircraft there is a layer of quartz walls now the reason why we're doing this is because it gives a uh, colored look to the inside instead of having these um, cyan walls showing through we end up getting a white some white walls that go all the way around now in the presidential suite there is a bit of a difference and we're going to go and basically cover that now so to start off with, we're going to be going ahead and going to our floor. Now, in the front of the presidential suite here, we're going to be going ahead and going to this space. And we can just fill this space in with, actually, this space back here. We're going to be using some gray glazed uh, terracotta. And we're just going to go and fill this in to this point here. Now, we're going to go, in, go ahead and only build our quartz blocks up on the walls here until we hit cyan, uh, or sorry, this light blue concrete, or we hit... Uh, basically four blocks in tall in height um, so we have like this for the front here and then we're going to go along the sides here for quartz blocks and we're going to leave the space open for the windows and in those window spaces we will be placing down a light gray stained glass block now i'm going to go and do the whole left side of the aircraft as the whole left side will be basically the same across the board here so we're just going to go and do this and again just basically bring a layer across our walls and again remember we only need to go four blocks in height here we don't need to go up there to the fifth one this section here same thing we can only go up three blocks and then we run into those concrete blocks and same thing right here so just like that and we're just going to bring this back here again all the way back now we get to this point it is a bit different so coming to this point we're going to go ahead and take Th these concrete blocks or these uh, quartz blocks we're going to go back with a full block like this and in this inner space uh, we want to go ahead and actually place down a uh, what is going to be a row of quartz pillars going up here so one two and three and we're going to then delete this row of quartz and this row of quartz is actually going to come out two blocks like that there to the side so just like that now um over here on this side, we're going to go ahead and basically be building this along the way. So just like we did for the other side here. And again, we're just going to be filling in our walls. Again, just giving that white color to the walls. And same thing along here. Just like this. And then we get to this portion here. We're just going to go ahead and again follow the outline of the walls here. When we get to the doors, uh, we will outline them with pillar quartz just to give a little bit more of a textured look to them. So just like that. And then along these walls here, just our quartz full blocks all the way along the side there, like so. And we're going to go ahead and go over here and obviously we'll be doing the same thing. So a pillar of quartz going up here right in our doorway. And we will also be placing down our quartz running from this pillar of quartz along the side here. So this is just going to go ahead and go run all the way down here along the side, our glass blocks like that. And we want to go ahead and basically continue this all the way down toward the rear of the aircraft. So I'm going to go ahead and basically build a good majority of this off camera because I feel like it's a little bit you know, easier to do off camera, just building this all the way back and plus you guys don't need to see it. You guys kind of get the general idea. We're just basically filling in a wall here to create a better look to the inside here of the aircraft. Um, so with that, um, I'm going to go ahead and see you guys here shortly. 
as I fill this whole space in. One thing I thought I'd mention also is that when we get to these doorways, we're going to be leaving these doorways alone. You're not going to put any courts over them um, as they are exits to the outside and we want to make sure the doorways stay um, kind of left alone. So just make sure you don't touch the doorways, um, but again, all the walls in between the doorways will be uh, like basically layered with this quartz uh, lighting. And then once we get to this back section here, we're going to be going ahead and just filling in a wall of three across. So we're going to go ahead and do a wall of three. So basically coming off this door space here, right next to it, just a row of three across. We're going to go ahead and then have an indent of three like this into the aircraft. And then again, a row of three of our quartz blocks here to the side. So our back here should look something like that, closing our space off. And then the rest of the back of the fuselage here is basically just disregard space. Um, and then um, you can see I've already had this wall in place. I'm going to go ahead and continue on working and do the same over here for this wall. And as you guys can see, I have the entire inside here filled in with our quartz lining for the walls. Um, again, it looks really uh, <laughs> very much so like a rough draft, and that's basically all it is. As we go through each room and build the interior, we'll be going ahead and obviously adding on more to these walls and definitely uh, making them look a little bit nicer in overall appearance. Anyways, uh, we're going to go ahead and now start working um, on the actual interior, and I think the best way to do this is to go ahead and build this room by room. Um, and obviously, as we work our way back with the aircraft, uh, we'll cover each of these rooms individually and basically cover all the detailing and everything like that for each room. So with that, we're going to be going ahead and starting with the front of the plane and working our way back for the interior. Alright guys, so going ahead and moving into the presidential suite. Now to go ahead and get started with the very first thing we need to do is we actually need to move this wall here back by one. So we're just going to go ahead and extend this back just like this to fill in the space right here. So just a simple little addition. Now when we get to this point here, we're going to go ahead and then switch to stripped dark oak wood and we're going to go ahead and place down two rows of three going stacked on top of each other like so. And then we're going to do this one more time going toward the back. Now with that out of the way, we can go ahead and grab ourselves some of our glass lanterns. So like this, and we're going to place down lanterns here in each of the corners for the lights. And I also went ahead and added a redstone repeater here as will be like a telephone or something like that, but it's nothing special, just uh, some extra detail there on this little uh, nightstand or desk type thing. After that's done, we're going to go ahead and then place down two dark oak wood ups and down stairs on the side here, and same thing over here to this side. Coming off the sides of those stairs, or actually, sorry, just the right side, we're going to be going ahead and grab ourselves a brown banner, and we're going to be placing down a brand banner, brown banner on the side of that stair. In this space right here, we're going to place down one, two, and three blue concrete blocks, and then one, two, and three blue banners directly behind it, like that to go and create the back here for the seats. Over here to this side, we're going to go ahead and place down one and two stripped dark oak wood uh, blocks like this, followed by a second row of two, a third row, and a fourth row. On top of this, we're going to place down basically uh, two rows of four of blue concrete on top. After that, uh, we want to go ahead and then take our spruce wood signs and we're going to go ahead and take our spruce wood signs and wrap them around the blue concrete blocks. So just like that, all the way around. Now uh, for the bed itself, we're going to be going ahead and taking snow. We're going to place down a snow piece here on both sides and then we also want to grab our birch buttons and we're going to place down two rows of two of birch buttons on the top of the bed there like so. With um, that out of the way, we're going to go ahead and then focus our attention to this space right here. Now in this space, uh, we will be placing down a blue concrete block like so, followed by a second one on top of it, and then one forward. On the back here, or on the side of this blue concrete block, we're going to place down a blue banner. We then want to go ahead and go to this space, and we're going to place down a dark oak wood fence post followed by a dark oak wood slab on top of it for basically a small little table. So just like that. Now once that's done, uh, the last for the next thing we can do is we can go ahead and take our quartz blocks and we're going to place down one, one, two, three quartz blocks over like so. And then we're going to then place down a pillared quartz blocks. Now these blocks here, we can go ahead and place up one, two, three 
uh, blocks up and then one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. And this is gonna create a wall right here. Now with that all done, we're gonna go ahead and also have a, a small desk over here to the side. And again, this is just a simple little desk. And all we're gonna be doing for this is placing down one and two stripped birch wood logs like this, followed by a row of one and two dark oak wood slabs. And then again, one and two dark oak wood or stripped dark oak wood logs. And then just a lantern on top of this block right here. Now, after that's out of the way, uh, we will now be focusing our attention here on the bathroom here for the presidential suite. Now, for the bathroom itself, we're gonna be going ahead and needing to grab ourselves some polished diorite and also some smooth stone slabs. Now, to go ahead and get started here, we're gonna go ahead and place down a row of one, two, three, and four polished diorite blocks in the ground for the floor here. We're gonna do a second row of four. And then to this side, we're gonna place down a diorite block like this, followed by two smooth stone slab full blocks, and then a narrow diorite block like so. Now we can go and then take our quartz pillars. We're gonna place down one, two, three, and four quartz pillars up. Going to the side here, we're gonna place down one, two, three, and four quartz full blocks, and then one, two, three, and four, one, two, three, and four, and one, two, three, and four. Like that, filling that space in. Also in this location here, we're gonna go ahead and place down a row of one, two, three, and four quartz full blocks going up, just like that. Now, once we have that done, we can go ahead and start work on the bathroom. Now for the bathroom here, we're gonna be needing some banners. We're also gonna be needing some blue stained glass, tripwire hook, some diorite walls, some quartz stairs, uh, a anvil, and a stripped uh, quartz slab, and an iron trap door, and that should be what we need. Um, anyways, to go ahead and get started here, we're gonna start off with the toilet. So the toilet here, we're gonna place down an anvil, and then coming off the anvil, we wanna go ahead and place down a quartz upside down stair, which for some reason we do not have. So, we'll place down a quartz upside down stair like that. Then on top of the uh, anvil, a quartz full block, and then a trip bar hook here to the side of it like that, and the iron trap door on top of the stair. So very simple. In this space here, we're gonna place down a diorite wall, quartz upside down stair, and a trip bar hook like that. And then for the shower, we're gonna place down one, two, one, two, and one, two, blue stained glass panes, followed by a trip bar hook here on the top. Now also for a bit of extra detailing, we can go ahead and grab ourselves some item frames. And for our item frames here, we can go ahead and go to the sink, place down a item frame and a blue stained glass painted like that for the sink. And over here to the side, we can place down a item frame with a quartz block or something like that for the toilet paper there on the side. And then for the kind of to show like a door over the bathroom, we can go ahead and place down two white banners, a light gray banner here, white banner here, and then two white banners on top like that. And this will kind of create a little bit of a door effect here, give a little bit more privacy, but you can also easily walk in there if you want to. Now that's pretty much all complete here for the front here, but we can also go ahead and add on to it. And by doing this, we are gonna go in very simply in the bathroom section here, we're gonna place down one, two, and three quartz upside down stairs. Actually uh, make sure that they are smooth quartz stairs. So we'll go ahead and grab those. So we're gonna have a row of one, two, and three smooth quartz upside down stairs. And then same thing over here, one, two, three, and four. And when we get to this section here, we're gonna place down one, two, three, and then a corner stair over here, stair right there, and then one, two, three, and then a corner stair like that. And then going up here to the front, again, one, two, corner stair, one, two, and a corner stair like that. And then we'll kind of, if we look down in here, give a little bit more effect to the uh, kind of shaping on the inside here, give it a little bit of a slant there. And that right there is going to complete our presidential suite portion of the build. Let's go ahead and move back to the presidential office. All right guys, go ahead and move into the presidential office. Now for the presidential office to go ahead and get started with here, we're gonna go ahead and actually take this row of four of quartz blocks. We're gonna go ahead and actually swap this out for a row of uh, pillared quartz going up like so. Anyways, from this point here, we're gonna go over two spots and then we're gonna go, go over an angle with a block like this, and then we're gonna place down another row of one, two, three, and four quartz blocks up like that. And this right here will be our doorway or our entrance into the office. Now from this point, we're gonna go ahead and go to this spot right here. We're gonna place down a blue 
concrete block followed by a stone pressure plate on top of it and coming off the pressure plate here to both sides we're going to be going and placing down a blue banner like that to go and make the desk chair we then want to go ahead and grab ourselves some more uh, dark oak wood or strip dark oak wood logs and we're going to place down one and two blocks like this we're going to go ahead and go over an angle one block and then one block that connects like so and for a little bit of detail on the desk we're going to place down a heavy pressure plate and a lantern like that to go and make this little desk area we then want to go ahead and go over to this base we're going to place down a blue concrete block and a blue banner for a little chair we're going to go ahead and skip a space, place down a stripped birch wood log, lantern on top of it, and then one, two, and three, blue concrete blocks over. We're going to go ahead and place down a pillar of one, two, three, and four, smooth quartz going up. And then across this space here, we're going to place down one and two blue concrete blocks. And after those two blue concrete blocks, we're just going to place down a stripped, uh, stripped uh, dark oak wood block like that. And then from this point here, we're going to go ahead and just take our smooth quartz. We're going to place down uh, one row of four going up, two, three, and four. And then we're going to place down five, and then over one, two, three, four, and five, like that. And then above the seats here, we're just going to take blue banners and place them around like so. And that right there will basically create the presidential office we're also going to place down a lantern there on top of that block you can also go ahead and grab yourselves some item frame or not some item frames but some uh paintings and you can place down paintings here in the office um just you they want to make sure that they're kind of like the smaller size so you can throw in a painting like that maybe and then over here on this wall try to get something a little smaller here and i mean it could be whatever you guys really want so just a little bit of artwork there inside the office. So something just like that. And then of course, again, for our walls, we're just gonna go ahead and grab our stairs and we're gonna place down a upside down stair here. We're gonna place down two upside down stairs facing each other for this doorway. And then one, two, three, and four stairs over just like that for the inside there. And that right there is going to finish off our presidential office. Let's go ahead and continue on to our next room, which uh, will be the uh, medical room. Alright guys, moving into our next room, we have the medical room. Now, the medical room, um, we are going to go ahead and start off with by going ahead and building basically the inside and then building the walls around it. So, like we've been doing. Uh, we're going to go and start off by taking our blue concrete, we're going to place down a row of one, two, three, and four. And we want to go and then grab ourselves dark oak wood fence gates. So, right here. And we're going to go and place these here on the bottom like so for uh, basically would be representative of the gurney now when that's done we're going to go and then take our course blocks we're going to place down one and two course blocks here to the side and then we want to place down a quartz block followed by a upside down quartz stair on top of it and coming off the front of the stair here we're going to place down a banner and then we're going to place down two trip bar hooks there to the side there for this um cabinet actually sorry it's going to be two birchwood signs here for drawers here on this cabinet. Now going up from this, we're gonna place down a trip bar hook above this stair on this block here, and then we wanna place down a row of two of pillar quartz blocks atop the, across the top here and trip bar hooks like that coming off of it for this little cabinet area like so. Um, over here on the other side, we're gonna be going ahead and taking our iron trap doors. We're gonna place down one and two iron trap doors across, one, two, and one, two like this. And on the sides of these, we're gonna be going and placing down uh, white banners going all the way down uh, so just like that and that will be like a little bit of a shelving unit there now from this point here that's pretty much our medical room we're going to go ahead and swap out the floor for polished diorite so this whole space here will be swapped out here for the floor for polished diorite create a more kind of medical-esque type room and we're going to go ahead and bring it all the way out to this point right here now when we get to this point, we're going to go ahead and switch back to our smooth quartz blocks. We're going to place down a, a wall. It's going to go one, two, three, four, and five blocks over, followed by a pillared quartz block here. And this pillared quartz block, we're going to go and take up four. We're going to go over two spaces. This space here, we're going to place down another row of blocks going up. And then again, two rows of four of quartz blocks filling in this space here, closing that area off. 
Now when we get to this point, um, we also can add these uh, little cabinets in here, just kind of add a little bit more detail. If you are pulling this in survival or something, you can make this a little bit of a storage area. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and swap out this row here for a row of three of polishing inside blocks going up and a quartz block on top. And here next to it, a quartz block going up like this. And along these quartz blocks, three stone buttons, trip bar hooks here, so we have this little cabinet area. And we can just go and fill in the rest of this wall here with smooth quartz blocks. So just like that, and that'll fill that space in there. And then we can also go ahead and go to this side and do basically the same thing. So again, take our polished hand side up, quartz blocks, closing that area off, and then our stone buttons and the trip hook with that. So we have a couple little storage facility or little storage areas, maybe for medical supplies and stuff like that for the hospital area. And then uh, this space here is just gonna be closed off with wall like that and you can fill the space up in here in the middle if you choose to do so. So basically our middle medical facility here should look just like this. And anyways that is going to finish out the medical facility. Let's move into the onboard kitchen. Alright guys, go ahead and move it into the kitchen area. So for the kitchen area, we're going to start off by going ahead and taking some smooth stone blocks and place down one and two blocks like this, followed by another two up, and stone buttons coming off those blocks like so. After that, we're going to place down a blast furnace, followed by a smoker, actually sorry, a smoker, and then a blast furnace on top, and then one and two stone brick walls up like that. When that's done, we're going to go, and go over from this stone brick wall, one and two, stripped birch wood place, and then trip wire hooks coming off of it like that. Also, we want to go ahead and uh, place down a row of one and two of these strip virtual planks located right here. And we're actually going to place down a third row like that. After that, we're going to be going ahead and taking our polished dance site. We're going to place down one, two, three blocks up. And same thing right here, one, two, and three. And then same thing right here, one, two, and three. So, or sorry, just this two. So you have the fridge right there. And then on the middle blocks here, we're going to place down triple hooks, and we're also going to place down two slabs on top, and stone buttons come out those blocks like so. Um, so that's kind of the basic general idea for the kitchen. Uh, we can go and take our quartz blocks. We can place down a row of four going up along the back here to go and make this wall. And we're going to go and take this all the way out, a total of six rows like that. From this point, we're going to go and place down a pillared quartz block going toward the front of the plane here. We can go and then take a quartz, smooth quartz block row, place it right there, and then right here, a pillared quartz wall. So just like that. And then from this point, we're going to go ahead and go over from this, skip it a space of two, pillared quartz block up, pillared quartz block up here, and then we're going to go ahead and fill in the space across here. So with our quartz full blocks, close that space off. And over here, a row of quartz going up. And then for this space right here, uh, we can do something a little bit interesting. So trying to create some more shelving units here, we can go ahead and place down uh, rows of quartz stairs. Going to put that for shelves. Now in this space right here, we are going to put a staircase in. And this right here is going to basically be the staircase that leads up to the pilot area or the uh, basically the, the flight deck. So we're gonna place down just stone stairs going up at an angle like that. So pretty straightforward there. And again, that's gonna be a staircase there that's gonna lead up to the top there. And also like we did before, we can just go and take our polished diorite and basically build the floor here for the inside. And a little bit of detailing you guys can do. Um, it's pretty straightforward. You can grab yourself some cakes, some flower pots, and barrels and stuff. And you can go and just go on the inside here and put a few barrels. Then you put a cake, flower pot, flower pot there, and just some general things here and there just to kind of give a little bit more of a kitchen type look to it. Or uh, I guess basically what would be a galley. And then from this point here, um, we are going to add in our stairs. So for this, we're going to place down an upside down stair here and here also of quartz. And again, make sure that it is smooth quartz we are using. So upside down stair here, one right here, and then one, two, three. And also this trip bar hook, we're going to delete and place an upside down stair in that place instead. So 
we should have something that looks like this. And also for the medical bay here, we should have had, should have had a row of upside down stairs across like that as well for the medical bay. And also a uh, snow piece on top of this blue concrete block. So it's like that for the pillow there. And anyways, that is going to complete the galley. And with that, let's move into um, will be basically a chief of staff office located right behind the galley. All right, guys, moving into the chief of staff office. This office is super straightforward and super easy. Uh, all we need to do for this is just go ahead and go to this section here and place down your row of pillar quartz going up. From this, uh, we want to go ahead and skip a space of two, place down another row of pillar quartz going up, and a row of four quartz blocks going up. And then we're just going to take this row and just close this wall off. So just like this. So you get a small little space like that. And on this space on the inside here, very simply, we're going to place down one and two end rods like this. Dark liquid slabs on top of those end rods. And then we're going to place down a second row, a third row, and a fourth row like this going forward. And then two end rods on this side like that. Now for the chairs, we're going to place down a stripped spruce wood uh, block like this. Brown banner right behind it. Skip a space over. Same thing again. And just the same thing over here on this side as well. So let's look at that really straightforward there, and that's going to do it there for your office. Now, um, you can also go ahead and add paintings again. So just throwing in some paintings here just kind of creates a little bit of a nicer look. Again, we don't want some crazy big paintings, but just some simple ones on both sides here. Just like that, just add a little bit more um, kind of detail on the inside there. And that right there is going to complete your chief of staff office. All right, guys, so moving into our next office, we have the kind of briefing room. Now, the briefing room, uh, we're going to go ahead and take our pillar courts. We're going to go up one, two, three, and four blocks up like this. We're going to go and then go over two and then out an angle here, one. Place down another row of four pillar courts up like this. We're going to go and then switch to our courts. Um, actually, real quick before we do, we're going to go and grab our pillars again, pillars again, and we're going to go and skip a space of three, and we're going to place down another row of three of quartz pillars going up like that. Now, from this point here, we're just going to take our smooth quartz. We're going to go and fill in the space here in between these pillars, like that with a wall going up, and same thing over here, bringing this all the way to the wall. And again, we're just going to go and fill this whole space in, so just like that. And we have our outline here for the briefing room. Now with the briefing room outlined, we're going to go and start off by placing down an anvil here in the corner. And then going up from it, we're going to place down one and two leaves like that. Next to it, we're going to place down one and two, and one and two on top of dark oak wood blocks like this, followed by a little lantern on top there for a little bit of like a desk. Or not really a desk, but more of like a night, kind of like a little stand or something like that. Um, anyways, once that's done, we do have the table here. And the table is built real simply by going ahead and going to this space here. We're going to place down two end rods, followed by two dark oak slabs on top of it. One and two, one and two, and one and two dark oak slabs over. So you have basically a two by four table here. End rods on the bottom of this side here, so you have the legs of the table. Uh, when that's done, we're going to go ahead and put our chairs in. So dark oak wood, or sorry, brown concrete block over here, um, followed by a brown banner right behind it. And then for the chairs at the sides here, we're just going to place down two um, brown concrete blocks, trip, or uh, spruce wood trap doors behind them, and banners coming off of them, and same thing over here, just like this. And you have basically your chairs, and in this corner space here, again, just add a little bit more uh, detail to it. We're going to go ahead and place down an anvil, and one and two oak wood leaves going up. And also, again, don't be afraid to use paintings here as they, again, add a nice little detail to the walls. So you can kind of pick and choose what you want here. Again, we don't want anything crazy. Probably go about a two-wide painting here. So maybe something like that. And then over here, we'll do like a one painting like that. So again, our painting, limit, or painting uh, options are kind of limited, but they do add a little bit more detail to these rooms that make it look nice. Um, anyways, that's it for this uh, briefing room. And with that, let's go ahead and continue on. Going ahead and moving into our next section, we'll be going ahead and covering this hallway here. 
Now for this hallway, um, we're going to be going ahead and real simply start off with this section here. We're going to go and take our smooth cords, place it in a row of one, two, three, and four up. Next to it, we're going to go ahead and then place down a brown concrete block, followed by a uh, what would be a brown banner directly behind it. So we can just go ahead and go to our room here, and we can place down a brown, a brown banner just like that. Then uh, right here, end rod, dark oak wood slab, brown concrete block here, and then behind this, we're going to place down a stripped oak, or sorry, stripped dark oak wood plank or wood piece followed by a lantern on top of it and they come off the lantern we're to place down a brown banner like that so we have these two chairs here and these would be two secret service um, agents seating to basically protect the president um, when that's done we're going to go ahead and then switch back to our pillared courts we're going to place down a row of one two three and four pillared courts blocks over we're going to go and then grab ourselves courts slabs so again make sure that they are smooth courts and we're going to place down a smooth quartz slab here to both sides. And we also want to go ahead and take our white banners. And we're going to place down one and two white banners like this. And also a stone button on these two pillared quartz blocks on the sides for a little white couch here. Next to this, we're going to place down a narrow strip dark oak wood piece, followed by a lantern on top of it. Over to this space, we're going to take our pillared quartz. We're going to go up one, two, three, and four. Pillared quartz blocks up. Going ahead and skipping this space over here, we're going to place down again four pillar quartz blocks up like so. We're going to place down a stripped uh, dark oak wood piece, followed by a lantern on top of it. Again, same thing for the couch here, four pillar blocks across. Quartz slab here to both sides, white banners, and stone buttons here in the corners like that. And this space here, near dark oak wood piece, and a lantern just like that. And then once that's done, we're going to go ahead and take our quartz stairs. And we're going to run our quartz stairs all the way along the space here. All the way back until we get to this point right here. Once we get to this point, we'll go ahead and stop our stairs. Also, uh, going ahead and going up to this front section here, this doorway, we're going to place down two quartz upside down stairs like so. We're also going to place down an upside down quartz stair here and also an upside down quartz stair in this location as well. Um, once that's all done, that is going to finish off this section here, this hallway. Again, we have the option here of taking paintings and to kind of sp spice up the walls here a little bit, we can go and throw some paintings along the side here. But again, it's kind of optional, uh, kind of whatever you guys want to do here. Yeah, I know our painting here choices are not the greatest for uh, Minecraft, which really is a bummer, but Again, they do add a little bit more of a nice design to the uh, inside here. So when you're walking down the halls, you actually have like some paintings here to kind of look at. Um, but anyways, that's going to kind of do it here for this section. We have pretty much the front half of the aircraft or the interior kind of complete. And we're going to go and start moving into our cabin areas now. So uh, basically we have the kind of VIP area, um, kind of presidential um, aides and stuff like that, which would be in these two areas here. And then we have like the media and secret service that would be seated back here in the main cabin. Um, so anyways, uh, with that, let's go ahead and move into our uh, first kind of VIP um, more. Actually, this would kind of be more of the um, presidential aides and stuff like that um, area right in there. So with that, let's go ahead and move into that section. All right, guys, moving into our next section, we'll be going ahead and moving into basically the presidential uh, advisors and uh, support staff kind of uh, cabin area. So for this rule, simply, we're going to be going ahead and go into our line of cyan, or, uh, yeah, cyan concrete. And we're going to go ahead and take our quartz blocks. We're going to build one, two, three, four quartz blocks up, and then another one, two, three, and four. And then we want to go ahead and then do a third row of four going up. And actually, sorry, my bad. Instead of that third row, we're actually going to have a row of pillared quartz going up like so. From this, we're going to go ahead and skip a space of two. We're going to place down our pillared quartz block going up like this. And again, one, two, three rows of three of four of uh, quartz full blocks like that to go and close this wall off like so after that's done we're going to go and skip a space of two from this pillar or actually we're going to go right next to this pillar quartz block we're going to place it in a row of pillar quartz going up like this we're going to skip an air space of two and our pillar quartz block up like this and then we're just going to connect our pillar quartz block up here to our wall so just like this or to the uh, side of the aircraft so just like that one side there for that wall 
Now for the floor, we're gonna go and just take polished diorite and replace the floor in here with polished diorite like that to go and make the uh, bathroom here for this section. Once that's all complete, um, we can go ahead and grab ourselves some white and gray banners. So real simply, we have some white and gray banners. We're just gonna go ahead and place down one and two white banners like this, a gray banner here to the right, white banner here, and then two white banners on top like that for our doorway. And then over here, we're gonna be going ahead and doing basically the same thing. So two white banners, gray banner, white banner, and like that to go and make the door for the uh, bathroom there. Now when that's all finished, we're gonna need to go ahead and grab ourselves some brown banners. And we're gonna be going ahead and making the seats now. So for the seats to go ahead and get started with, we're gonna go, ahead and go back here and place down a brown concrete block like this, followed by a brown banner right behind it. We're gonna go ahead and skip a space over, brown concrete block and a brown banner like so. We can also go ahead and grab ourselves some oak leaves and also an anvil. And for the little detail in here, we can place down a little bit of a plant right there in the middle. We're gonna go ahead and then skip a space forward. We're gonna place down a brown concrete block. And in this middle space here, we're gonna go ahead and place down what will be a dark oak wood or stripped uh, spruce wood uh, block like this and then a brown concrete block right next to it. Now on top of these blocks we're going to be going ahead and placing down a spruce trapdoor like that on both sides and a brown banner coming off the spruce wood trapdoor like that on both sides. After that's all done uh, we're going to go ahead and take our end rods or actually rather our brown concrete we're going to place down a brown concrete block right here followed by one right here. Now on top of these we're going to place down spruce wood trap doors, a brown banner coming off the back there of those door of those um, trap doors like that. We're then going to place down one and two end rods, one and two, and then on top of them two dark oak wood slabs, and then two dark oak wood slabs here across the middle like that for the table. And then over here on this side we're going to do the same thing with the chairs. So two brown concrete blocks, spruce wood trap doors on top of them, and then a brown banner on the back there for those chairs. And we want to go ahead and basically do the same thing just over here to this side. So uh, we're going to go and place down our uh, brown concrete blocks like this, leaving a space of two. So just like that, our brown banners on those ones and then our spruce wood trap doors over here on this side. And then we can just go and place down our table here. So our end rods, dark oak slabs, dark oak slabs, just like that. And that right there will make this table over there in that corner. Now once that's all done, uh, we're gonna go and go to this section here. We wanna go and take our uh, brown, or our dark oak wood, or stripped spruce wood. We're gonna place down one and two blocks up, one and two, one and two, and one and two. We're gonna place down a lantern here on both sides. And to kind of make this more like a kind of cabinet or a drawer or something like that, we're gonna place down two trip bar hooks and stone buttons here on the sides like that to give a little more detail. And then lastly, we're just going to grab ourselves an anvil. And we're going to place down an anvil right here, followed by one and two oak wood leaves up like that for a little bit of a planted there, a little bit of decoration. And oh, as always, don't uh, feel afraid to add some paintings on the inside here to give it a little bit more of a, you know, nice look to it. So uh, we'll go ahead and find a decent looking painting. And over here, we can go and put a painting in as well. So just like that. And you have a few paintings in there, kind of creates a nice look to it and all that fun stuff. Um, anyways, once that's all complete, uh, we're going to be going ahead and then grabbing our court stairs and to go ahead and kind of finish this room off. We're going to place down upside down court stairs here in the corners there for the doorway. And we then want to go ahead and go over here to this side and again, upside down court stairs in the doorway like so. Then along these quartz blocks along the side here, we're just going to place down upside down stairs like so. And same thing over here, upside down stairs along the side there, just like that. Now, uh, going ahead and going into this space, uh, we're going to place down a row four of quartz, or row three of quartz upstairs downstairs in that space there, and we want to go ahead and then make our bathroom. So for this bathroom, it's going to be pretty similar to how we made the presidential suite. We're going to place down an anvil, smooth quartz block coming off of it, smooth quartz block on top of the anvil like so. We want to go ahead and then place down a iron trap door coming off this block here, and a trip bar hook coming off the side here like that for our toilet. And then over here to the other side, we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves a diorite wall. We're going to place down a diorite wall up like this, quartz upside down stair, trip bar hook on top of it, and then we can go ahead and grab our item frames and add little details. So we'll grab an item frame as well as some 
uh, basically a quartz block. So we can just grab it from here and also a light blue or just a uh, blue stained glass pane. And for this, we're just gonna make the sink here and then the toilet paper roll right there. So pretty straightforward, real simple stuff there. And we have our bathroom set up and we have this cabin here for basically uh, advisors and stuff, presidential staff. And that right there is gonna complete this cabin. Let's go ahead and move into the next one. All right guys, for our next cabin, we have basically the VIP cabin or uh, basically cabin for the president's family and all that. Um, so to go ahead and get started for this, we're gonna be going ahead and taking our uh, end rods. We're gonna go ahead and find the center two spaces of this room. So right here, we're gonna place down two end rods followed by two polished andesite slabs on top of it. We then want to place down a black concrete block on both sides, a stone pressure plate coming off that black concrete block or on top of it, and then a black banner here coming off the stone pressure plate. And then we're going to go ahead and skip a space of one. We're going to place down two end rods again, followed by two polished andesite slabs on top of them, one and two over, one and two over, and then two end rods again. And then we're going to place down our black chairs here, so black concrete block, stone pressure plates on top and a black banner coming off the pressure plates like so and same thing over here just like that and then we want to go ahead and then skip a space over two end rods like this two polished andesite slabs on top of them one two one two over and then again two end rods over here and then our black concrete blocks again like this for the seats here and then our black banners and same thing over here. So just like that. And that's gonna pretty much do it for that. And then all we need to do now is make the walls. So for the walls here, we're gonna go ahead and place down a pillared quartz block going up like this. We're gonna go ahead and skip a space of two, place down another pillared quartz block up like so. And then we wanna place down a uh, row of quartz full blocks all the way across here to connect us up to the wall on this side. So just like that. And then we can go and take banners and make our doorway here uh, just, like, just like we did before. So, place down our two banners, our gray banner on top of here, white banner, and then the two white banners on top. So, just like that. And that right there will make that door, and that will complete our second cabin. And now we're going to go and move into our main cabin, which is going to be the main kind of passenger cabin. So, with that, let's move into that cabin. Also, real quick, before we go and move on to the next cabin, I just want to go and also add that we need to put our quartz upside down stairs here along the sides here, just to give them more shaping to the cabin area. Uh, but anyways, once that's all complete, that will finish off this cabin, and we can now move on to the rear cabin. All right, guys, so we're going ahead and moving into our rear cabin. Now, to go ahead and get started with here, we're going to be going ahead and going to our doors. We're going to place down two quartz upside down stairs like this for our doorways. So just like that on both sides there. Now this glass park right here is actually going to be replaced. I don't know if the original tutorial included it or if it was fixed. Um, either way, this right here is going to be replaced. Um, this window section right here, this is going to be just a narrow light blue concrete block on the outside here. And then this pillar right here is going to be swapped out for a quartz pillar going up like so. And we want to go ahead and just do the same thing over here to this side. So again, quartz pillar going all the way up like so. And then on the outside here, just a blue concrete block. Um, so once that's done, we have our doorway set up there and good to go. We're then going to go and skip a space of two over. We're going to place down a quartz pillar. We're going to go and skip a space of three and then place down another quartz pillar. Now for this section here, we're going to go and take our quartz pillars. We're going to go up four, one, two, three, and four. And then over here, one, two, three, four. Now uh, from this point, we're going to go ahead and then take our quartz blocks and we're going to go and place down one, two, three, four quartz blocks over here on the left side like so and then we want to go and then take our banners and we're going to be going in and putting a door right here so one two white banners gray banner white banner one two banners up like that from this point here we're going to go and then take our uh, quartz blocks and we want to go and go back a total of one two three four five six seven blocks back so over here we're going to go and go uh, with our quartz full blocks, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And same thing over here, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. We're then gonna go ahead and place down a quartz pillared block on both ends here, and then a smooth quartz block coming in over here on the right side. So you can sometimes looks like this here for the back. 
Now we can also go ahead and count to our third block, so this space right here, and we can place down a row of quartz going across there. So we have basically a 3 by 3 square here and a 3 by 3 square right here. We're going to go ahead and build up all of our walls to a total of 4 high. And this right here is going to create our kind of center uh, little rooms here, which will be basically the security office and also the... Uh, will also be the restroom here for the rear cabin. And so we're just going to take this up all the way like so. Same thing right in here, just like that. So we create these two rooms like so. Once that's done, go ahead and go in two spaces over from this quartz pillar block. We're going to place down another quartz pillar block going up and same thing over here like that. In the space in between, we're going to take our smooth quartz, place down basically rows of three, going four blocks up like that. And then uh, from this point here, we're going to go and take our quartz full blocks, and we're going to go and place down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, and 21 quartz full blocks back just like that. And then uh, we want to go ahead and then basically build this up. So actually, we're going to go one less quartz full block and place down a pillar quartz block in this spot, four up, and then all of these are going to be stacked four up. So we're going to go ahead and just make the center wall here that divides the cabin in half. So just like this, fill in this whole space in. And our last row up across the top here. And just like that, we have the whole top row filled in. Now with that done, uh, we can go ahead and then go to this side here. We're going to go ahead and go off of this section. We're going to go ahead and go one and two blocks over and this Actually, uh, we're going to go one block over and then a pillar quartz block that's going to go up four. And then our quartz blocks going up four as well. We then want to go and go one and two blocks over and then another pillared quartz block directly after it. So just like this, this is going to go up four. And then these quartz blocks here are also going to go up by four. So just like that. And then we can go and fill in this space right here right behind it completely. So you get basically a box section kind of like that and also for the door here again a bit of detail here to kind of smooth out a little bit we can go and place down anisite walls on this like so follow this up by a trip bar hook on this stone block here and then stone buns like that again just kind of get a little bit more detail to this door here now over here we're going to go and do the same thing so quartz full block pure quartz block up by four and smooth quartz up We'll just fill in this space as well. So basically the same thing we did on the other side. And then our pillared quartz up, like so. So just like that. And with that, we kind of have the outline set up here. Going ahead and um, going to the sides, we're going to go and grab our stairs. And you probably know the drill. We're going to take our upside down stairs and place down a row all the way along the side here of upside down stairs. All the way back to this point, and then when we get to the door here, we're going to place down our two quartz upside down stairs like that. And the same thing will be done over here. So we will actually have to delete those buttons. And then a trip bar hook right here as well, and our and the side walls. So just like that. And then also for the floor here, we can go and grab some light gray carpet and place it down on top of those quartz blocks, like so. Now, with that all out of the way, um, we have that set up there. We're going to go and go to our center section here. And for our center section, we're going to go ahead and need to grab ourselves some white shulker boxes. So right here. And then we're going to place down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Um, 17 blocks back. Actually, my bad, it's going to be one less. So 16 shulker boxes along the side there. And then we're going to take our smooth quartz upside down stairs. And we're going to place them down along these 16 shulker boxes and this here is kind of like the overhead uh, compartments here to put bags and stuff like that or whatever the uh, media or secret service would be carrying back here and it's gonna be the same thing over here on the air side obviously and just like that all the way across and of course over here as well we're gonna be putting down our upside down stairs going all the way to the front of the cabin so just like that 
Now, once we have that all the way, we have basically our walls set up and everything, and now it's time to go ahead and basically do the detailing. So our first office we have here, as I mentioned, is the security office. Now, the security office here is really simple, pretty straightforward. It's, again, nothing too uh, crazy or too fancy. Um, but basically, to build this, um, just grabbing the materials we will need here. And basically, to build it, it's really straightforward. So we're going to take our smithing table. We're going to place down a smithing table like so. We're going to go and then take dark oak wood top slabs. We're going to place down one, two, three, one, two. So you kind of create an L-shaped desk. And actually, real quick before we go and call that good, we're actually going to take polished anisite and the mega weapons locker. We're going to place down one, two, and three polished anisite blocks up like that. And a trip bar hook like that. So you have a bit of a weapons locker there where they can grab weapons or anything like that. Longer rifles and stuff. Um, with that done, uh, we're going to go and build the computer. So just really simple, a stone pressure plate. Uh, stone button here to the side and then we can go and grab ourselves a painting and we can place down a painting here um, we'll go ahead and break this stone button real quick so we can get a small one so just like that so we have a little computer there and then right next to it we are going to put some skeleton skulls stacked up as kind of like CT or uh, CCTVs so some cameras or something like that that they can watch on multiple screens and stuff so just like this, and then we want to place it on our chair, so real simple, just a black concrete block, stone pressure plate, and a black banner coming off of it. And you have your little desk here, a little secret service um, area like that. So again, pretty straightforward and simple little room. Going ahead and moving into our next room, we're going to have another bathroom. So for this, we're going to basically grab all the materials we've been using for bathrooms, so cord stairs, tripwire hooks, um, anvils, Direct walls and also our item frames. So we'll grab that. And our stained glass. So for this bathroom, again, nothing real different. We're going to just take our polished direct, place down two blocks here, and just basically make the whole floor polished direct. We're going to go ahead and then place down our toilet, which is going to be over here on the left side. So for this, just a anvil. A upside down steer coming off of it, smooth cord stair on top, or smooth cords block on top, and rod at the side here. And then we also want to go and grab ourselves our iron trap door, place it down coming off like so. And then, uh, item frame on the wall here, smooth cords block in it, and then over here, direct wall, upside down stair, item frame, blue stained glass in the item frame, and a, a uh, trip bar like that. So, again, this is a simple little bathroom design, and then we can make the door also with our banners. So again, just like we did before, we're going to go ahead and place down our white banners here, like gray banner, white banner, and then put that across there to uh, make our door. And that right there is going to complete these two rooms here in the center, and we're going to go ahead and now move into basically building the chairs here that are along the sides. So for the chairs, we're going to be going ahead and going to the side here in this first row, we're just going to have a row of one of chairs. So we're going to place down our brown concrete block right beneath this window here, uh, trap door, and banner right behind it. And then we're going to go ahead and just repeat this pattern, leaving a space of one for chairs until we have a total of four chairs here. So just like this. And then we get to this point, and we're going to go and stop. So we have four chairs there, and we're going to go over here and do the same thing. So our brown concrete blocks, spruce trip white, trip, spruce trapdoors cannot speak and then brown boundaries coming off of them like so and that will be your chairs right there basically mostly secret service agents and stuff like that seated in that area and then once that's uh, completed we will be going ahead and doing the um, back section here so the back cabin so for this uh, we want to go ahead and go one block back two brown concrete blocks and we're going to go and skip a space and then place down two all the way along the side here all the way back until we get to this point here. So we're going to stop right there. And then directly across from them, we're going to be placing down our brown concrete blocks as well. So like that. And then of course, our trip bar hooks on top of them. Make sure that all the trip bar hooks are, or the, not trip bar hooks, but the trap doors are facing the same directions. So again, all the way along the side here of all these blocks. And then behind them, we're just going to be going in and placing down our brown banners. So, one, two, one, and it's going to basically be for all these seats. 
And with that, we have all of our banners put in place, except for a few floating ones here. And we have these chairs complete. We're also going to place another white banner in this section here to help kind of cover up this um, exposed strip birchwood log. And also, we're just going to be going ahead and doing the same thing over here to this side. I'm not going to do it. Obviously, it's just the same thing. So look over what we do on this side and just copy it over. And you guys are pretty much good to go. Um, one last thing to add here is a little food cart that we have basically sitting in the back little cubby space here. And for this, we're just going to place down a dragon head on the bottom here like this. A polished anesthetic top slab in the middle there. And then we're going to place down two rows of three of polished anesthetic going up like this. Chip iron hooks and stone buttons like that. So just a little simple little food cart design there. Or a little snack cart that they take around and uh, basically give food out to people in the cabin. And anyways, that right there is going to complete our last cabin. Now one thing I also want to cover after completing that back cabin is a little bit more detail for these doors. Now for these doors here, we just want to go ahead and place down a tripwire hook uh, right here and then stone buttons around these sides here like this. So just kind of giving a little bit more detail to these um, doors, which I forgot to do as we were making our way through the build. So again, we're just going to throw it on like this all around for each one of these doors like that. And then we have our midsection doors here we'll do the same thing and also right here I did forget to put the stairs in so make sure that you have your upside down stairs in over that space right here in the hallway and then we have our doorway right here so we'll go ahead and do this so just like that and then going up to this section here we don't have this doorway because we have it open uh, but if there was a doorway you're going to do the same thing there and then right here we can only put our stone buttons we can't put the trip bar hook there because of the seat um, but anyways, once you have that done, you have your first level of the aircraft all complete and interiored. Again, this is kind of a bare bones type interior, so if you do want to add more to it or change it up a little bit, feel free to obviously go ahead and do so. This is just kind of showing you guys the way that you guys can set it up to create a uh, cool interior and all that stuff and trying to keep it as accurate to the real Air Force One as possible. Um, anyways, that's it for our first deck here. We're going to be going ahead and moving up to what will be the flight deck and the command center and all that. Um, but the before we go and do that, one last thing we will be needing to do is to build the roof for it. Now the roof here is real simple. I went ahead and just used one block throughout the entire roof, but you guys can go ahead and use whatever you guys want. I felt that gray concrete looked the best in my opinion, so I went ahead and used gray concrete and basically just filled in the entire space above this. And you'll notice that we are on this row of, basically in line here with this row of uh, basically blocks going across here so we have the blue concrete here in the front nose and we're just going to be basically placing it down on top of all the stairs everything like that and we just want to fill this whole space up on top here for the roof of the inside and if we go ahead and take a look at it for example for the presidential cabin you get a design that looks like this here for the front so i'm going to go ahead and just fill this entire roof in, and i'll come back to show you guys the final product and as you guys can see, we have the roof entirely filled in here for the top. Um, one thing you can also do is go into the inside here and throw in lights here in the roof. Just one thing to note though, is that if you are placing down these lights, just be aware that we will have a um, interior up above it. So you will need to make sure you take that into account because um, these, these may show up from the top, so you may need to adjust these, but basically just go through wherever you feel like you may need some lighting. Um, just go ahead and throw in some beacons here in the roof, glowstone, um, sea lanterns, whatever you like the best in terms of lighting, and you can basically just, you know, light up the inside here a little bit. And again, that's something I'll leave up to you guys because, you know, depending on if you're using a shader pack or if you're just in default and everything, your whole lighting is going to be different. So, uh, just go ahead and add the lighting to wherever you feel fit and that would be a good way to finish off that um, inside but as you can see we have the whole first layer done we have our item frames in or, or pictures in all that stuff and we have the roof overhead and all that fun stuff so anyways that's going to wrap up our first deck let's go ahead and move into what will be the flight deck and command center of the aircraft all right guys moving into our next section we have the flight deck now above we, the uh, space we just closed off, we have basically our floor, and we have this empty space up above here. And this right here is where we're gonna be going in and putting in um, our flight deck, basically the 
uh, pilots um, section, navigator, all that stuff, and the mobile command center that is located up here as well. So anyways, let's get started. Now the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go in and go in the front here and we can just fill the space in. Now we're going to build this all the way up to basically our glass up on top here. So we're going to take our concrete, gray concrete, and just fill the space in. Now we can also go ahead and for detailing purposes, place down a stone button here on this space right here. And then we're going to go one more space back with our gray concrete and then our stone buttons across. And we can also fill in these spaces here and the corners here with gray concrete just to keep it consistent and nice. Now, once that's all complete there, we're gonna go ahead and be taking our polished andesite and we wanna go ahead and place down one and two up on the side here and then one like this in the middle, the same thing, one, two, one back, one, two, one back. Now, in the middle spaces, we're gonna place down a polished andesite block, narrow brick stair, polished andesite block, and a narrow brick stair like this. And that right there is going to set up our consoles here in the middle. Now also going back from this, we're gonna go ahead and place down an additional uh, polished andesite block back like this. And then we're gonna follow it up by placing down a stone brick slab directly after it. So just like this. Now once that's done, we're gonna go ahead and put our pilot seats in. So for our pilot seats, we're gonna go ahead and go to both sides of this polished andesite block. We're gonna place down a black concrete block like that. A daylight detector going up from it, followed by a black banner, like so. I'll come off the daylight detector, and then we want to go and then place down a dark oak wood trap door on top of these daylight detectors, and have them upwards like that to go and make the uh, headrest here for the pilot's seats. We're going to come back and uh, finish off the detail in there for that and everything like that a little bit later. Um, but for the time being, we're going to go ahead and continue on. We're going to take our uh, stone blocks. And we're going to go ahead and fill in the space here on the walls with stone blocks. So we're just going to go ahead and take it all the way along the side here. And we're going to go ahead and stop about right there. And same thing over here. And stop right about there. Um, so once we have that filled in, we're going to go ahead and then build the um, flight engineer's seat or um, something of that sort. We're going to go ahead and place down a black concrete block here, daylight detector on top of it, black banner. And of course, the dark oak wood trap door going up from it. Going back from that, we're going to have the navigator's position. We're going to place down a stone brick upside down stair above this base like so. Coming off of it on the bottom, we're going to place down a end rod and then a stone brick top slab over. And then we want to build the navigator's seat, which is going to be a black concrete block, daylight detector, black banner on the back here, and a uh, dark oak wood trap door like that going up from it. And then over here for the other seat, we have the uh, basically another flight engineer so it's gonna be a black concrete block right here daylight detector black banner and then on top of the daylight detector a dark oak wood trap door open back like so and then for the little desk here we're gonna go and take our polished andesite we're gonna place down one and two polished andesite blocks up and then one and two over and then we want to take our stone blocks and we're gonna place down one two three and four stone blocks up like this and we want to go and then place down a row of two stone blocks. So we have uh, basically one, two going up and then one, two over. And then over here to this section, we're going to kind of go over at an angle. So we're going to go to this space, place down our stone blocks going up by four, and then fill in that space right there for row of three. And with that done, that's going to kind of set the basic general design here for our uh, flight deck and we're going to go and basically detail it now. So for this we're going to take iron trap doors and we're going to place them down on the floor spaces like this just to kind of give a better kind of textured look here to the ground floor. And again this is going to be every block that we can place down a um, iron trap door on top of. For the detailing when it comes to the cockpit we're going to go ahead and be grabbing ourselves some levers. Uh, we're going to need some redstone uh, comparators, redstone repeaters, some dark oak wood fence gates and also some item frames uh, we will need a we're, we're going to need a light green or a lime green stained glass pane and also a compass now for this uh, for the detail in here we're going to go and place an item frame on the center there followed by a compass like that item frame here coming off these two stairs and lime green stained glass in those Coming off the narrow brick stairs, we're going to place a dark oak wood fence gate, opened up like so toward the stairs. And then on the floor here, we're going to place down two redstone repeaters like that for the floor there. 
We want to go and then place down redstone appears here to these sides. Not just flick back. Same thing over here. In the middle space here, we're going to place down a lever, have it flicked backwards, and then a redstone comparator located in that space, just like that. And also on top of this polished anti block, we can place down a repeater. And again, we have the notches here to the sides there. So a bunch of different dials, levers, and all that stuff is what we're trying to make here. Anyways, uh, once that's done, moving back, we're going to go ahead and go to the table here for the navigator. Just a simple compass on the item frame, in the item frame, just kind of show a navigator position. And you can also put a map here if you really wanted to as well. Um, so we can go and grab ourselves a map wherever they are located. Could have swore they were in here, but anyways, you get the general idea. You can put a map there or something like that. And then over here for the flight engineer section, we're going to place down our redstone repeater here, followed by a uh, iron pressure plate. Go and place some item frames here, some lime stained, gra lime stained glass, just like that, there, and pretty straightforward. Um, anyways, once that's all finished there, uh, we're going to go ahead and basically take our what are just going to be stone stairs and polished anisite stairs, actually just stone stairs. And we're going to go and basically build stone stairs here across these rows here to create the shaping from the inside here. So it's like this, going across like so. Now with that all done, uh, we can also clean up the walls here a little bit, kind of keep them more of a gray color scheme in here by taking like gray banners and placing them here on the walls to try to cover up the blue from the outside. It doesn't work all the way, but um, it does help a little bit in reducing that blue color there and all that fun stuff. Anyways, that's pretty much it here for the flight deck of the aircraft. As you can see, pretty straightforward and everything like that. Uh, your roof for it will go basically uh, across at this level up here. Uh, one thing also is you can take iron trap doors and you can place them along the top here to kind of cover up any blue or any uh, thing that might be shown here. So usually I take my iron trap doors back, back to about this point here and that kind of works. And then you have the roof uh, above it, which will all be uh, quartz blocks. So, you know, for example, you'd have your roof that's going to be filling in this space like so. Um, so that, that's what I pretty much do inside here. You can see pretty nice design here for the flight engine or the, you know, flight deck. Um, I think it looks pretty cool. Anyways, that's it for uh, this room here. And we can go ahead and kind of close it off here with our um, walls and all that stuff. Let's go ahead and move into um, basically the kind of crew cabin area for the crew working up here in the flight deck and command center. Alright guys, the next section we're going to be working on is the crew cabin area. So for this, we're going to be going ahead and building off of our um, flight deck here. We're going to go and place down our pillar quartz blocks going up by a row of four here. We're going to go and then skip a space of two, place down a row of pillar quartz going up, and then we just want to take our uh, quartz full blocks, and we're just going to fill in the space over here to go and create a wall. Now what we created here is basically our bathroom, and it is a very small bathroom to say the very least. Um, but we're going to go ahead and take our smooth cords, fill in that space there, and also place down a row of ups and down stairs across here, and also a row of ups and down stairs across the top, like so. Now for our bathroom here, real simple, we're going to place down an anvil, like so, followed by a quartz ups and down stair coming off of it, and a quartz full block on top of it, with a tripwire well, trip hook there to the side, and an iron trap door, and that's going to pretty much do it there for our toilet. Our sink here, we're just going to go ahead and go to the side, place down a quartz upside down stair like this and a trip bar hook above it like we've been doing item frame and then we can go ahead and grab our blue stained glass and make our sink like that and again as you can see real simple real bare bones bathroom and then the last thing we want to do for it is to just go ahead and take our banners and to make the door so we're just going to place down our banners here across just like we've been doing here and we have our door like that set up so that's going to do it there for our bathroom. Going ahead and continue to work our way back. We're going to go and take our quartz blocks and we're going to fill in this wall along here. So just like this and you're going to have a total of five of this wall built in. So just like this. And then when we get to this point, we're going to go ahead and then build a row of four over of quartz. Followed by a second row of four and then we're going to place down a pillared quartz block like that. So you basically have this four by three space right in here. Now in this space, we want to go ahead and grab ourselves some end rods again. We're also going to be grabbing some birchwood <clears throat> slabs and also some stripped birchwood logs and birchwood trap doors. And we're going to go and make the seating that's going to be right in here. So for this real simple, we're going to place down a birchwood log here on both sides. Trap door on the back there, two end rods, two end rods, 
and our birchwood slabs across, and then our birchwood logs over here, and our trapdoors like that. And we have a little seating area right here for the crew to eat their meals or anything like that. Also, in the bathroom space, I almost forgot, um, we do want to tile the floor here by putting some iron trapdoors down to add a little bit of texture. We can't change the floor texture due to the bottom of the floor being the roof of the bottom layer, so just take that into account. Um, anyways, once we get to this point, we're going to go ahead and now focus our attention over here to this side. Now, on this side, we are going to be going ahead and putting in a small resting area, basically for the crew to uh, sleep and all that stuff, obviously. Um, so, you know, with a flight or with the plane taking long flights and stuff like that, it is important for the crew to get their rest and all that stuff to be able to stay vigilant and all that. So, that's what we have going on here. Uh, basically, to begin with, we're going to be going ahead and taking our blue concrete and going from the stone block, we're going to place now one, two, and three blue concrete blocks back and a snow piece on top of it. We then want to go and fill in the wall behind it with quartz blocks going all the way up like this. From this point here, we're going to place down a quartz upside down stair above this space, followed by one and two, smooth quartz blocks over. And then we want to place down two polished andesite blocks here as a little bit of like a um, kind of a locker or something like that, and then two trip bar hooks on it, like so. In the middle space here, we're just going to place down a pillared quartz block going up a row of four, and we're going to go and do the same thing here. So two blue concrete, or three blue concrete blocks, a snow block, fill in this piece behind it with quartz, full blocks, a stair to this side, two smooth quartz blocks over, and again our, uh, actually sorry, it's going to be a, no, actually that was right, so a stair here, and our polished dance side like this, and our trip bar hooks and we can move the pillow here to this side if you want to so they don't bang their head onto the wall the locker above them um anyways once that's done go to this section here we're gonna place down a pillar quartz block going up after the bed here and then we can just fill in this wall going across here of quartz blocks just to make that solid and closed off and same thing right there and basically we have this little living space here which is for the crew for the flight deck and also for the command center which we're gonna go and start work on now and moving on to our last room, we have the control center. Now, the control center here is designed to basically be a command post up in the air. So if for some reason the plane was in the air and some attack happened, this here could act as the command post for basically the entire nation. So um, to go ahead and get this started, uh, we're going to be going ahead and taking our polished data site and we want to go ahead and place down a row of three going up like this. And then we're going to place down a... Uh, Polished anti block here, black concrete block, polished anti block, and then a row three, polished anti block, black concrete block, polished anti block, and then our row three there, polished anti and again, polished anti block, black concrete block, polished anti block, and a row three, like so. So you should get something that looks like this here along the side. Um, and actually, we're gonna go ahead and shift this over one, so our black concrete is gonna be shifted over just one block. And so it should actually look like this here on the bottom. Now from this, we're going to go and place down a row of polished dance going across here, a row of six. We're going to put our chairs in, so black concrete, trap door behind it, skip a space, another black concrete block, and another one like that. So you have basically your three chairs like so. On the polished dance site, we can just go and place down our uh, basically a daylight detector. And this is kind of randomizing uh, different blocks here you can see some levers here some red star repeaters it went off for different dials instruments and all that stuff and we can even go ahead and grab ourselves some item frames and we can use item frames with like we did for the cockpit like gray stained glass for example um, or even the dials here so we can make our screens so just like this and then maybe have dials here across the top uh, maybe some screens over here as well. So basically just stuff like that, trying to make it look like a little bit of a command center um, type design is what we're going for here. And from this, we can go ahead and also grab ourselves some quartz stairs and just place down one, two, three, four, and five quartz stairs across the top. And that's going to be over here for basically the right side of the aircraft. Over here to the left, it's a little bit different. Uh, we're going to go ahead and basically take our polished data site. We're going to place down one, two, three, four, and five, and then one, two, three, four, and five. Um, for this, uh, this section is a little bit different. Uh, we're going to be placing down a black concrete block, which is going to go right here. Dark oak with the trap door on top of it, and then a narrow black concrete block right here, and a dark oak wood trap door coming off of it. Let me just go ahead and double check here. Um, 
So yeah, this is actually is going to be a one less row. So it's going to be two rows of four there. Um, anyways, and again for this, just some random detailing here. Uh, nothing too fancy. We just got some uh, red stone repeaters here. Some dark oak weighted buttons we can put in. Like this. A weighted pressure plate. Even a lever right here. Red stone repeater. I uh, went ahead and put an end rod here and then two black concrete blocks over for like a computer screen or something like that. And then I went ahead and also took court stairs and went ahead and placed down a row of one, two, three, and four across, and then one and two court stairs across like that. Now once that's done, we're going to go then take our quartz blocks, we're going to go and close this space off, make it a wall along the side there. For basically like a little filing cabinet or something like that, we're going to place down three polished anti blocks like so, smooth quartz block on top, and then we're going to place down a row of quartz here to the side. We're going to go ahead and go back with this, or back from this row, with a row of quartz followed by a second row of quartz, and then we want to go over from this, connecting up to the side of the fuselage. So this right here is going to be a wall that's going to go all the way across, like so. And this pillar right here, we can actually swap out for some pillared quartz, so just like that. And we basically should have what looks like this here on the inside. Now we do need to build our staircase. If we go ahead and break these blocks out right here, we should connect up to our staircase, and we can place down any stone stair here just to make the staircase go all the way up. Uh, to go ahead and make it a little bit nicer, we're going to go and surround the staircase here with some pillared quartz sideways like this to go ahead and kind of clean up the staircase area. And then we just want to take end rods, place down one and two up, one and two, and then we're going to place down one, two, and three over, one, two, and three over for the rails, one, two, one right there. And once you have that all done, that's going to pretty much finish this back section here, our connection down to the um, bottom deck here. So you can walk up here and get yourself up in here into the flight deck area. And then from this point, you can just really simply just go and take smooth quartz and create your whole roof. So basically we're going to fill everything up from the next layer up from our on top of our pillar quartz and all that stuff, just like this to go ahead and create a roof. And for this, I just used quartz full blocks as we do have quartz showing from the outside of the aircraft because of the uh, height of it so best just to use quartz full blocks and again uh, as long as it doesn't affect the outside there you should be able to place down um, beacons and stuff like that in the roof to uh, go ahead and kind of create a lighting um, sources in here and also one thing also we want to do here is place down a smooth quartz there come off those two quartz full blocks um, but anyways that's it for our command center area our top deck here where we have our crew cabin and also our um, you know actual flight deck and all that um, so yeah that's going to pretty much wrap that up and with that I'll wrap up my tutorial for the VC25A uh, Air Force One interior um, and that will complete my tutorial overall for it and wrap up part four in our last part of the of the uh, tutorial so hopefully you guys did enjoy this build and all that fun stuff i know the interior was um you know quite a lot and was highly anticipated by you guys so i'm happy to finally bring that to you guys and hopefully you all enjoyed that as being part of the tutorial it's something i don't normally do um but you guys really really wanted to see it so um, i'm glad i can deliver on that um, anyways, that's going to pretty much wrap it up for this tutorial. Thank you guys all so much for watching. If you do end up using this design, do I ask you guys give me proper credit for it. This is me thinking from the side of the build to my channel or this video if this does appear in social media sites. As long as you guys give me proper credit for it, your freebies are for projects you guys are working on. Overall, enjoy the build, have fun with it, and that's pretty much it for that. Um, again, thank you guys all so much for watching. As always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. This is me, your 204, and I'll see you guys next time.